So my name is Jana Seitzer and I'm with an outlet called Whiskey and Sunshine. How are you today, Ian? I'm doing so good about you. I am doing great. So let's see. I feel like you've been doing these all afternoon, so I'll try to be nice and easy on you. <laughs> no, it's been just like a half hour. It's actually been pretty easy today. Oh, awesome. I've had, do, I've had to do some where I'm on here for like seven hours. And after a while, my face is just like, <laughs> <laughs> that's brutal. Seven hours is a lot. So speaking of a lot, you have had a lot of roles um, as an actor at a very young age so far. Um, most of them seem to be just normal acting roles or your standard type of acting roles, but you've now done a few voice acting roles. What, um, do you have a preference for the two? Like is one something that you enjoy more than the other? And if so, why? Great question. Um, that's so hard. I love them both. So it's so hard to like pick one. I like them for different reasons. I think with voice acting, it's so easy because you can just go into the studio and, you know, sit down and you're in just a little booth and you're just reading from a script. You could show up in pajamas for all they care, but it is harder because you can't express things with your body. It all has to be with your voice. And it's a hard balance between, you know, making sure you have a lot of emotion in your voice and not, you know, overacting like crazy. But um, with live acting, I think for me, it's a little bit easier just because I think I'm a very physical person when I talk, <laughs> but um, I love both so much. They're both so fun and interesting and different. And I think it's so much fun. It's like a fun acting challenge to do both of them. Do you have to prepare differently for one type of role versus another? Not really. I generally uh, don't really uh, prepare for roles like that. I think the only time that it was really hard to prepare for a role was doing Big Little Lies 2 because mm. I had been away from the character Ziggy for so long that it was kind of hard to get back into it. I had to watch some of the old episodes. That's a little bit darker material to begin with compared yeah, to most very, of the other. This is not the case. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a show that I happen to love, but maybe doesn't um, track with some of the other you know, like Scoob and Young Sheldon and that type of stuff. Mm -hmm, absolutely. So in Paw Patrol, um, we see Chase uh, having to kind of address some fears and, um, you know, kind of looking internally at some things that he needs to, you know, kind of address within himself when he goes back to Adventure City. Is there anything like that in your life that you've done that you kind of draw on as material when you do a role like that? You know, it's really funny. I'm actually kind of the wrong person to ask that because I naturally am kind of just like very happy, like all the time. Um, I don't really have any anxieties or fears, which is such a weird, like, I'm not just like this for the camera. I am constantly walking around the house singing and, you know, dancing. And there have been, actually it happened last night. I was laying in bed and I just started laughing because I was remembering this really funny thing I saw. And then it'll make me think of another funny thing and I'll just start laughing and I sound insane. And my mom will have to bang on the wall and go, Ian, I'm trying to sleep, be quiet. Well, I will say we, so I was at, I think it was the Mary Poppins uh, Returns. No, I take that back. It was the Nutcracker and the Four Realms um, red carpet. And we ran into you, you were much younger then. But even then out with like tons of people and whatever, you're just like, totally doing my thing like happy <laughs> kid like it was great it's funny because I yeah I've never gotten stage fright I actually love getting up in front in front of a bunch of people and like just being silly and clowning around and laughing and dancing and singing so yeah it's funny because a lot of people talk about like how it's kind of nerve-wracking to be in front of a live audience or something and I'm just like <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like that might come from one of your parents <laughs> I think um, so. both my parents are pretty happy yeah well I was thinking the stage acting thing the like being in front of people right because do you have a dad maybe that does something on Broadway well maybe this guy Ewan Morton who's in Hamilton currently who is yes that's what I thought I'd read somewhere and so speaking of that um clearly then you're you must be a fan of Hamilton but do you have a favorite Broadway show Oh my gosh, Miss Jana. 
<laughs> That's the hardest question. Oh gosh. Um, I love them all so much. I mean, I gotta say Hamilton is up there because Hamilton. I loved Natasha Pierre in the Great Comet of 1812 because I'm a total Ruskophile. Um, I actually speak Russian or I speak a lot of Russian uh, and I wow. sing in Russian constantly. But um, I also love a new show that's coming to Broadway that I got to see in London uh, right before the pandemic. I got to see it, which is Six and it is amazing. Ooh, I can't wait to see that. Oh, that's so wonderful. Ian, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you, Ms. Janet. It's so awesome talking to you. Yes, likewise. See you soon. Bye.